Hello, hello, good morning, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amelie if you're new here, and I'm so excited because today is day one of the 75 hard challenge. This trend has been around for a while now. I know I saw it in 2023, but it is everywhere in 2024, and it's honestly been something that I've always wanted to do, but I was just really scared to commit to. But I've seen so many people start it online. That whenever I open my phone or YouTube, I just see so many people doing it that I feel really motivated and inspired to join in as well. Today is Monday, January 15th, so I'm not starting January 1st. So if you guys wanna do it with me, don't think that you missed your opportunity by not starting on January 1st. You can start any time of the year, any day, any hour. So start it with me. I'm starting it on the 15th. If you start it on the 20th, the 30th, whatever, doesn't matter. Do it with me. We're going to feel so good at the end of this challenge. But basically, for anyone who doesn't know what the 75 hard challenge is, it is essentially a mental toughness challenge. So the rules aren't meant to be impossible or break you, but it is meant to teach you a lot about discipline and consistency. And you follow a certain set of rules for 75 days. And then at the end of it, you've completed it and you feel amazing. So I think for me, the end of 75 days is gonna be March 29th, which is actually really cool because one of my friends who I somehow convinced to do this with me, her birthday is March 29th. So basically it's like a little feel good challenge leading up to her 18th birthday. That's another thing. If you guys are trying to do this challenge, I really, really, really recommend getting a support system. So talk to your family members, your friends, your loved ones, and see if they would be interested in doing it with you. Someone that I actually met through social media is doing it with me, and then I have a friend in person doing it with me. I've also managed to convince my brother to do it with me and then maybe my mom and dad i'm not sure but i'm really excited i feel like this is just going to make me feel so good and exactly what i need to really get the new year rolling so the real rules of the 75 hard are you have to stick to a diet of your choice two 45 minute workouts a day one has to be outside you have to read 10 pages of a self-help book a day and drink a gallon of water. I'm doing something a little bit different than the actual 75 hard. So I know people have been calling it the 75 soft or the 75 hard-ish. So whatever you want to call it, here are my rules. Sticking to a diet, so we're doing that. And the diet that I chose is no dairy and whole food based while obviously eating a high protein diet and i would like to lean out a little bit like leading up to my birthday and summer so a slight calorie deficit if that happens but i'm not tracking i'm just eating intuitively really focusing on the quality of my foods eating less ultra processed foods and just doing the things that are going to make me feel good that being said, I love Greek yogurt and I haven't ever had an issue with it because it's like non-fat. I think the concentration level might be lower and it's never had an issue with my body. So I am still gonna be eating Greek yogurt because it's a staple in my diet. And if things have just like a tiny bit of dairy, like maybe a protein bar or something, I'm still gonna let myself have it. So I'm mostly trying to cut out foods like ice cream and pizza and like the foods that really upset my stomach and I know that, so that's my diet. Also that being said, if there is something to celebrate like say my birthday is coming up or just like special occasions i'm not going to be restrictive i'm still going to enjoy the yummy food so this is just like on a normal day-to-day -day basis which is where my version of the 75 hard kind of strays away from like the original version because in the original version you're not supposed to cheat at all next two workouts a day that stays the same one outside however because it's winter and it's raining obviously if i have to walk on the treadmill i'm not gonna like cry about it it's okay if one of them isn't outside and it's okay if like one is like an hour and a half and then the other is like 20 minutes so it's really just moving my body twice a day then we're also trying to do six to ten thousand steps a day ten pages a day it doesn't have to be self-help but right now i actually am reading a self-help book it is called maybe you should give up seven ways to get out of your own way and take control of your life by by brian morrison so far i really like it so this is the book i'm reading right now but if after this i don't want to read a self-help book i don't have to and then i have this 40 ounce stanley and the original 75 hard says drink a gallon of water a day but with school and everything if i did that i would just literally be in the bathroom like the whole day so i am trying to drink two if not three of these so that's about 80 to 120 ounces a day and a gallon is 128 so that's pretty good for me 
So those are like my daily tasks to complete. And then outside of that, I'm also doing skincare every day, trying to get seven to eight hours of sleep. But realistically, that's not always gonna happen. And then I'm also just trying to get ready every day and live a cleaner lifestyle and just like really make sure that I'm cleaning my room a lot. Like as you can see, today was day one. So I cleaned up my bed and I'm washing all of my sheets. That is my 75 hard challenge. If you wanna do it with me, totally feel free to alter anything that you feel necessary. For example, if you're someone who's just getting into their fitness journey and two workouts a day is way too much, you could just do one workout a day. There is no pressure here because at the end of the day, the goal of this challenge is just to better your life, feel better about yourself, set good habits in place for the future, and yeah, just glow up mentally and physically. Because at least for me, the reason I'm doing this, it's not so that at the end of 75 days, I can be like, great, I did it, let's go back to my old habits. It's to see how good I can feel and then have these habits now in place and keep doing them. So this challenge doesn't really end after 75 days, but it's just called the 75 hard challenge. I'm super, super excited. It is currently 1.15 p.m. I am usually a morning vlogger, but today I decided just to let myself sleep in. It is Martin Luther King Jr. Day, so I'm not in school. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take advantage of this and just sleep. And I woke up around 12 p.m which is kind of crazy for me, but it felt so good. So now we're gonna get the day started. I have this bra on from TLF, and then these leggings are from Gymshark. And then this is like a throwover from H&M and I like cut off the neckline. All of my jewelry, oh, it's all tangled, but all of my jewelry is from Every Jewels, and I just have my hair in a ponytail. We're gonna start the day off with a walk to go get some coffee. So that's gonna be my first form of movement. And then I'm also gonna fill up my Stanley, start on this one. The other thing that I wanted to add is to make sure that you are following my other social media platforms. I have TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, Pinterest, LTK, and I'm going to be posting pretty much every day about my 75 hard challenge. If you guys decide to do it with me and you wanna get some inspiration and do it together in a sense, make sure you're following that because even though I'm gonna be trying to post on YouTube two to three times a week, that's still not the daily 75 hard content that you might be wanting. So make sure that you are following those. Also, definitely go follow summer she is one of the other friends that i'm doing this with she's going to be posting a lot of 75 hard challenge content as well so make sure you guys are following those platforms and now that we are finally awake and ready to start the day let's go on a walk and get some coffee okay all right chat there's been Chad. a little change Chad. in plans. So the walk that I was originally planning to do to coffee did not happen because we spontaneously decided to go on a hike. So it is around 325. We drove around 40 minutes to the beach and now we're gonna go on a little beach hike and water update, I'm on my second Stanley. So we're doing pretty good. <laughs> okay, whoops, you guys fell a little bit. So this will be my first movement of the day and then hopefully we're probably gonna stay here for sunset and then I'll probably just end up going to the gym later today. And then so far haven't eaten any dairy, so that's good. And I'll read later tonight. So we're on track for a successful day one of 75 hard. And so far it hasn't been that hard because I do these habits like pretty regularly anyways, but I think that the hardest thing is gonna be the second workout of the day, but it doesn't always have to be like a whole workout. It could just be like a second walk or something. And I tried to convince this one to do it with me, but he didn't what? want to. Yeah, it's not too late. Yeah, he doesn't want to do it with me, but it's okay. I lost my chair. No, it's in my room. How did I take it off? Oh, wait, isn't it in my room? No, it's in my room. Actually? Yeah. Okay, anyways, we're gonna go on our little walk. We 
We just finished our hike. It was so nice. We almost mm. weren't gonna go today and then we very spontaneously decided to and I'm so happy we went. And that's my first outside workout, so slay. I'm at 6,000 steps and that was the first thing I did today, so that was like three miles. But where's the other 4,000 coming from? I said in my goal. No, you I said, said ten thousand. No, I said six to ten thousand. No, 000. you said ten thousand. I said six to ten thousand. Already losing day one. It's six to ten thousand. It's ten thousand. That's what you told my mom and dad. Okay. So. <laughs> I'm gonna do at least two thousand more on the treadmill, so it's fine. Or I'll go on a run. Whatever. I'm gonna get it done. That doesn't matter. Um since we're already by the beach and it's basically almost sunset, we're gonna go grab some coffee or like uh, maybe a smoothie or something. And then we're gonna stay here for sunset, watch sunset, drive home, and then I still have to fit in my second workout. So we're gonna do that and then play it by ear because I have a lot of homework to do. I think he has a lot of homework to do. So we're gonna just have like a chill evening in, but it just felt so good to get outside and it was really cold, but like refreshing and it was everything that I needed. So yay, this is your sign. Go on a hike, take a friend, boyfriend, or friend. Take your acquaintance. <laughs> <laughs> and go on a hike. room it is almost seven o'clock I just made myself some hot chocolate because I'm literally freezing I'm wearing a puffer inside because my room is the one room in my entire house that does not get any AC or heating so I'm always either too hot or too cold so I'm freezing right now wearing my puffer but I have a lot of homework to do Grant has this like EMT course thing that he has to do for college so for about 30 minutes for him probably an hour for me we're just gonna grind out do some homework together and then i still have to work out i still have to get my second workout in and today is day one and i am not failing day one so i will probably go to some sort of like home workout later tonight and then maybe hot tub because i really want to do that because i'm freezing but again it just depends how long everything takes but that's the update <laughs> Let's do some homework. <laughs> I trust you to stay in my life. We're in my car. I just had genuinely the most random spark of motivation and I finished all of my homework a lot faster than I thought I would. So we are going to the gym. Today's workout was scheduled to be either Pilates or legs, but I definitely do not have enough time to do that. So I'm gonna move my leg workout over to tomorrow, so Tuesday. And then today I'm just gonna do some upper body because I saw a TikTok that really motivated me to train. I just saw someone with phenomenal arms. Like she looked so muscular and I was like, you know what? I wanna be like that. I wanna train upper body. So. It's 7.40, I'm heading to the gym, I'm gonna get my second workout of the day in. Let's train some upper body and get the sun quickly. workout and I actually had a pretty good workout or I actually really enjoyed my workout I feel like that's a better way to say it it definitely wasn't the most intense workout especially because for me I like to get sweaty during my workouts which is why I usually do my cardio first to get my heart rate up and then I start lifting 
But today, since I literally only had like an hour, I decided just to go straight into lifting. So I did a push workout. So that's chest, shoulders, triceps. And then after that, I ended up walking half a mile on incline. And it felt really good to lift weights because even though I moved my body earlier with a walk, it's just different. The endorphins that I get after a workout and like feeling strong and seeing my muscles moving, it just hits different. Like, I don't know. And I feel like I'm actually really gonna enjoy the 75 hard for that reason because there's so many different kinds of movement and every movement makes you feel differently like after I walk outside I feel really in touch with nature and I just feel like whole in a sense like the walk with Grant today was just so cute we talked for so long about so many different aspects of life it's always fun to connect with someone that you care about and I could have even done that alone and like put on a podcast and educated myself so I love walks for that reason same thing with runs but then I also love lifting because I feel strong and powerful I love how Pilates because it gets me sweating like I sweat everything out and like same thing goes for workout classes you don't really have to like be in your head because you're just following something that's like already being given to you so for that reason I feel like I'm really gonna enjoy having like the two different kinds of movement slash two different workouts in a day because it lets me enjoy movement in so many different ways so that feels really good I also wanted to talk about the power of social media because I had such little motivation to work out it was like 6 p.m i was doing my homework i was like no way i'm working out after this and then just like the thought of like putting on workout clothes like literally i did not want to do it and i honestly was like coming up with excuses in my head like how i could kind of still complete the challenge while not really fully going to the gym like i was like maybe i'll do some yoga or something which no hate to that like yoga is a great form of movement but i knew that I had planned on working out and that I could work out and I was just like really losing motivation and then I was scrolling on TikTok procrastinating my workout and I saw another fitness influencer and she was beautiful like to say the least like she looked so strong she was hitting up her body and it was like a follow-along workout and I was like she looks so strong I want to feel so strong I want to go work out and lift and to me that just really shows like Social media can have such a positive effect on you if you let it. Um, I think that a lot of people think that social media can lead to a lot of comparison and can be a really negative, toxic place. And I really disagree with that. I don't think that's social media's fault. I think that's how we organize our social media and how we choose to use our social media. So rather than following people that make you feel like shit and you know you compare your life to, instead you should choose to follow people that inspire you and when you see someone that maybe you could compare yourself to, flip your mindset and instead of thinking, oh my gosh, I wish I looked like her. Why don't I look like her? Why don't I have that routine? Ugh, I could never be like that. Switch it to, wow, that person is so inspiring. I want to get there one day. I want to feel like that one day. I want to create that lifestyle for myself and I'm super excited to do that. So that's just kind of how I approach social media and that's why I don't really feel the need to limit my social media that much. I know a lot of influencers talk about not opening your phone within the first 30 minutes of waking up or going to sleep and they really focus on limiting their screen time. And while I try not to scroll mindlessly, I don't really limit myself to a certain amount of time on social media or like when I can go on it granted it is my job so going on it is like beneficial to me and, and I probably have a higher screen time than some people because it is my job I find it really motivating actually to wake up first thing in the morning I pick up my phone because if I'm not feeling motivated to go to the gym keep in mind I wake up at 4 30 like there's gonna be days that I'm like what am I doing if I open my phone and I scroll on TikTok and I see someone working out that motivates me to go work out so at least for me and the way that I've cultivated my feed social media is a very inspiring place and I actually get a lot from going on it first thing in the morning but again it comes down to knowing yourself knowing the effect that social media has on you and if you have not yet cultivated your feed to inspire you and you haven't yet found those influencers that inspire you maybe don't go on your phone first thing or right before you go to bed so it's very much to each their own but I just wanted to talk about that really quick because I cannot stress enough that if you are someone that lacks motivation or you find that you like have a lot of spikes in motivation social media can be a great place to just get that little boost of motivation that you need to get to the gym at 9 p.m. now that my workout is done I am feeling great oh also water update this is my third Stanley I believe 
we're almost done with my third and then I might even drink a fourth later who knows but I'm feeling super hydrated I've been peeing non-stop this might be TMI but my pee is like crystal clear already and I just feel great about that so I'm gonna go home I might be hot tubbing with Grant later I'm not sure but I'm gonna try to be in bed around 10 10 30 tonight 11 max because I have school tomorrow and anything less than that will be very bad for me So yeah, I'm gonna go home and I'll pick up the camera when I decide to do something Also, I've been really bad at showing my food today, so I'm really sorry But basically I had breakfast which I showed you guys But my breakfast was really late because I woke up late and then for lunch me and Grant went out to sushi We like shared some avocado rolls because I'm a baby and I hate seafood and then I also got like seaweed salad He got some Panda Express and then I also had a protein bar on our hike and then I went home made some chicken Wow. Oh my god. I feel so bad guys. I'm so sorry I'm really gonna try to show more of my meals and make more meal inspo in 2024 I just always kind of feel weird showing food because People get really opinionated on food and I would never also want to trigger anyone if anyone has dealt with a bad relationship with food in the past. So food has just always kind of been something that I've avoided. I think posting on my channel almost subconsciously because I'm kind of scared of people lashing out and commenting because food is so personal. We all need such different things and different quantities and different amounts of everything to live our healthy lives and also everyone has different nutrition goals everyone has different priorities and i've always been someone that likes to eat the same thing every day whatever is easiest in front of me what i know works what i enjoy and that's not for everyone so i think that's why i don't really show that much of what i eat in like meal inspo i am going to be making sure to show you guys more of that and post more recipe inspo so stay tuned but i'm sorry for making it look like i didn't eat anything today because that is not true food is fuel food is so important and if you want to get strong if you want to lean out if you want to lose weight gain weight bulk whatever it may be you need food you just have to be decisive about what kinds of foods you're going to be eating that was a little bit of a tangent i'm going to go home i'll pick up the camera if anything fun happens okay i'm back home i'm all showered i actually just finished reading my 10 pages and I finished my third Stanley. So that is my 75 hard challenge, day one, officially complete. But I wanted to share with you guys a few things that I read in the 10 pages of my self-help book. So I showed you guys, this is the book I'm reading. With my reading, I've just been really practicing being present when I read and really making sure that I'm absorbing the information because I have a really bad tendency of trying to read really fast and not actually absorbing the information that I read. So then I'll like, finish what I'm reading and be like wait like what did I just read so I've been practicing using a highlighter to highlight anything that like really stands out with me and resonates with me especially when I'm reading a self-help book so in today's chapter this book talked about giving up fixating on the future and what I highlighted was that even if it does go wrong chances are it's hardly the end of the world I feel like a lot of people prevent themselves from doing things because they're scared of what might happen and you just have to realize that we overthink things so much and we always think things are gonna be so much worse than they actually are even if it does go wrong it's okay because you're gonna survive and it's gonna be fine and you should do it anyways because what could happen if it does go right so that's what i took away from that and that kind of led me into my next quote that i highlighted which is you've survived 100 percent of your worst days and you're still here fighting life is hard it is hard to be human it is hard to deal with emotions and whatever you might be going through right now but it is so important to remember that you've survived your worst days you're gonna survive whatever's coming you're gonna survive whatever you're going through right now and that there is so much good in the world and if you choose to fixate on everything that you've gone through you're gonna be looking at life through a really dark lens or you could choose to focus on the fact that you've made it through your past you've survived you're here today you're gonna keep fighting you're still here fighting and there's so much of life left to live to the fullest whatever that may be whatever goals you have wherever you want to travel you've survived your hardest days you're gonna survive any hardships that you're going through right now and there's so much good in the world waiting for you i also highlighted you are never going to get to where you want to be and the reason i highlighted this is because i always preach enjoy the process if you are acting out of just physical goals or you have like this big idea in your head of how something is going to feel those are very superficial whys 
because then once you achieve those, you're not really gonna feel fulfilled and you might even feel empty because then you're gonna be like, now what? Whereas if you focus on enjoying the moment and enjoying the process of getting to where you wanna be, that's gonna be so much more fulfilling because you're gonna have an actual internal why and you're gonna enjoy the process and it doesn't matter where you are or where you're trying to be because you're enjoying every day while you're trying to get there. Because in the book, what it's saying is, I'm gonna use fitness for example because they use fitness. If your goal is to lose 10 pounds, you're gonna lose the 10 pounds, and then what? You're just gonna wanna lose more. Maybe you wanna lose now another five pounds, or now you wanna put on more muscle. Like your goals are gonna change because as humans we're built to always want more. We always want more. We always are gonna create more goals. And if you're just focused on achieving the goals, you're always gonna feel empty. Whereas if you focus on enjoying the process that takes you to those goals, it doesn't matter what your goals are and it doesn't matter how they change because every day you're gonna enjoy getting to them. And then the last pair of quotes that I highlighted that I wanna share with you guys is, when you fixate on the future, it can cause you to spend your life feeling like you are miles away from where you want to be. Right here, right now, you're in the middle of what you used to want. And this really applies to me because I feel like I fixate on the future a lot. Honestly, it's something that I really need to work on, especially as a high school student. I feel like I'm so like excited to graduate and move out and travel the world and like just do whatever. I feel like I find myself rushing through high school and just wanting to graduate and like get done with it. Thinking about this quote about how right here right now I'm where I used to want to be, I get reminded of my childhood self who always wanted to be in high school. I remember I was so excited to become a sophomore in high school, get my driver's license, I couldn't wait until I was gonna be almost 18 and like have my own freedom, have my own car, have my own gym membership. Literally just the tiniest things in life that I feel like I tend to take for granted now. I remember that I would have done anything three years ago to be where I am today. Same thing when I think about like my fitness goals, thinking about how mm, maybe I want to lean out a little bit, maybe I want to put on more muscle mass, whatever it may be. 2020 me, when I was just starting my fitness journey, would have looked at myself right now and been in awe. And I would have probably not even believed that that was me. This quote really resonated with me because I really struggle with always wanting to be in the future and always just thinking about my future. And it was just a really good reminder to put your life into perspective and appreciate how far you've come. So, I don't know. I just wanted to share that with you guys because it really stuck out to me. So it might stick out to you. And again, this is Maybe You Should Give Up, Seven Ways to Get Out of Your Own Way and Take Control of Your Life. So, that's the self-help book I'm reading. And I just finished my 10 pages, which I'm going to check off. I'm using this app called Streaks. It's a really good way to habit track and then it also tells you how many days in a row you've consistently completed the habit. So I'm using that for the 75 hard so then I can see the numbers increasing. So again, this is called Streaks. And that finishes my 75 hard challenge day one. I've done everything. I came home from the gym, had another protein bar, and then I also had some granola with chocolate almond milk. It was so good, but I couldn't find my camera so I didn't show you guys. I'm really enjoying this challenge it's definitely pushing me to practice better habits i'm gonna be fully honest before i started reading i was just scrolling on tiktok and then i was like oh i have to read my 10 pages so i did so if i wasn't doing this challenge i might not have read this book i might not have had those really good reflections and realizations within my life so again it's not too late you can join me on the 75 hard challenge we will push ourselves together and with that I'm gonna go to sleep because it is 10.30, I'm tired and I have school tomorrow. Like and subscribe. I love you guys, I love our community, and I will see you in the next one.